If I were to go back to when I was younger, the advice I would give myself is uh, not to look down on sales. I was looking down on sales. It's not very sexy. It's a lot of work. There's no glamour in it. How could I be so wrong? Why did you take the decision to recruit a top VP of sales in your company? Our business is doing well, right? We, we've never raised any money. We want 130 people. We're profitable, but we're not growing fast enough. How do you measure that? How do you know that it's not enough? I mean, we're growing at maybe 20% a year. That's not enough. It's going to take forever. We've grown nicely, but we haven't hit an infection point where we, we zoom right up. So I decided that I had to try something new. We've decided to make a key hire, to recruit a recruiter, to pay market rate, meaning to compete with well-funded VC-backed companies, meaning that the person we're hiring is the highest paid by far, paid more than me. But that's the decision that was made. The execution, well, it's still in process. It's so important and it's, it's so hard because it's not just about skills, it's about fit, it's about attitude, it's about understanding someone. And if it is just transactional, if it's just, well, I'm gonna pay you more than what Bob is paying you over there. Well, then Jim is gonna come and pay more even that's very different from what we've done so far. So far, we have people with whom we work a long time and we build great relationships. I don't want to become a transactional company where we hire people just for the money. The total compensation, and you know for salespeople, it's uh, uh, OTE, on target earning. The OTE is absolutely market rate and the target to get the OTE, it's really, really reasonable compared with the other opportunities you're going to look at. Recruiting is selling. The most important selling point is that we're not a company, really. We're not a standard company. We are a mission. We are an expedition. Don't join us if you want a corporate career. And don't join us if the only reason is you want to make money. <laughs> Sounds good. So actually, before the agency, we, we tried ourselves a little bit, right? We used that network. We, we actually interviewed a couple of people. One I knew from a few years back who turned us down, said we were too small. Uh, that hurts a little bit, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> the, the second we, we turn down, I don't know if he's listening, he's going to recognize himself. But, and sometimes we have second thoughts. We said, oh, why did we turn him down? We turn you down. You know who you are if you're listening. Because you sold software, you didn't sell it in pharma as much. He changed job too many times a little bit. But in retrospect, maybe we were too tough in our criteria. So if you're listening to, to us, give me a call. Maybe we can still talk. That did not work. So we hired the agency, right? The agency, we interviewed about six people. Uh, some of them two interviews, some of them three interviews. None of them made it. Why? Uh, the harder to assess fit, um, I felt, wasn't there. And it's very hard to find, but... I like it when someone, I feel it's going, to be, it's going to feel like their first job. If I know right away that it's not going to feel anything like that, it's hard for me to be super excited about a candidate. I do think that it doesn't matter where you are in your career. You should expect what you do to be the run of your life. Is the fact that they will earn more money than you could explain that it's difficult for you? I think you're right. We have more equity than that person. That's true. So we paid in a different way. But still, uh, it requires a lot of maturity for the rest of the executive team to really agree that person should be paid more than us. The, the challenge you're pointing to is that psychologically, when you pay someone so much money, your expectation might be realistic. You're looking for the white tiger, essentially, the great white tiger. My challenge is going to be to be able to manage someone not just who's paid more than me, but who in some ways had a, a career and a skill set that in many dimensions are, are stronger than me. My challenge is going to not to be intimidated 
by the person I hire. As always, there's plenty of problems, a lot of problems. That's why I'm glad to speak with my, <laughs> my, uh, my free analyst every two weeks because there's more problems.